Hey, what's up WordPress peeps? This is Patrick from WPBuilderHelper.com and today we have some exciting information from Oxygen Builder which is the Oxygen Page Builder. They've released some info so in this video we're gonna take and we're gonna go over that info we're gonna read through it we're gonna explain it and we're gonna decode it and I'm going to tell you why it may be a complete game changer because Oxygen is making changes that you've never seen happen with any other page builder and quite frankly it may completely change oxygen as a whole as to how useful it is and how you view it and everything else and for those people who haven't heard of oxygen i'm going to link down below my review i have a written review of oxygen just keep in mind that when this update comes out that is going to completely change oxygen is adding almost word for word the things that i complain about in my review and it's gonna make it a better product. There's just no way around it. Oxygen is finally going to be on the same competing stage as Elementor. It's always been a little bit behind it. This update's gonna completely change that and I think that you would be foolish not to buy it. So in here, we're gonna go over those changes. I'm gonna explain it to you. And if you are interested in finding out more about Oxygen, we'll link that down below too. We'll get it all, we'll cover it, and we'll go over it, all right? And if you're brand new to the channel, like and subscribe. Thanks very much. Let's go over it. Hey, everybody. It's me again. So here we are on the Facebook page for Oxygen. If you're not part of this Facebook page, then you probably want to go join it. It's got some of the best information for Oxygen I've ever seen. Um, everybody is really, really super helpful with Oxygen and helping them out and just making all kinds of really helpful content. It's a good community. But Lewis had put this out a little while ago. Lewis Rain, uh, Rangold is the person who owns Oxygen. He runs it. He's the CEO. He does some coding. He's done some YouTube videos. He's done a lot of different things. And Lewis put this out, and he doesn't like sharing information, but this is some epic level things that he put out, and it's absolutely amazing. And I'm surprised that more people aren't interested in it because it's going to literally change some of the problems with Oxygen right now today as it stands and I don't think people are realizing how it's going to change because it's doing something that other page builders aren't even touching right now. So if we're looking at this, um, one of the things that they're adding to it is a visual Gutenberg, uh, Gutenberg block builder. So this is absolutely amazing. Um, he goes in to kind of tell more of the features from the oxygen. You can actually go in and read this from his post. I've already read it and like looked over the documentation. I haven't looked over the GitHub stuff, but needless to say, basically it's going to allow Gutenberg. It's going to allow you to use Gutenberg within oxygen and allow you to set that as a place where your, your client could edit. Now, for some people, they may not think that this is a big thing. They may say, well, I don't care. I don't use Gutenberg. I don't like Gutenberg. I like the original classic uh, developer. I don't care about that. I, I, want, I don't want Gutenberg. For the rest of us, there's a lot of clients out there. When somebody does web development or anything like that, one of my biggest chief complaints with Oxygen has always been how user-friendly it is. It's very user-friendly to a developer, to someone who knows how to code, it's not very user friendly to somebody who doesn't know how to code. Um, it's pretty hard. It's got a very steep learning curve that you have to go up in order to get to where you're really good with it. When you watch Lewis using it, it's absolutely mind boggling because he's so good with it. He's clicking on things and he's adding things and it's all relatively simple to anybody who knows code because he's just clicking options in the code. That's all he's doing. But to someone else who just is brand new, some of the clients that even I have as a web developer, um, they don't know code. And so they're not going to know the first thing to do whenever they're looking to change something in CSS or add in margin, uh, margin or padding or anything like that. So by giving them the ability to change things with glute, uh, gluten, Gutenberg block editor, 
that makes it much, much easier because it's already in WordPress. Whether you're going to agree with it or not, Gutenberg is here to stay, and WordPress has made that apparent. Um, I'm actually going to do another video on Gutenberg explaining some things that I'm kind of scared about with WordPress. But it's nevertheless, it's something that I see happening to WordPress. And so I think it's really smart of Lewis to take and go in and add this in ahead of time. I think this is genius because I think that there's going to be more page builders that are going to have to, they're going to have to play nice with Gutenberg. And if they don't play nice with Gutenberg, then they're going to be wiped out by WordPress. Because I think WordPress is going to lean towards Gutenberg. And Gutenberg is going to be the default page builder for most of WordPress. You just can't get away from it. So I think you need to take and really look at Gutenberg. And I think there's more people who need to look at it. Elementor has done a little bit with Gutenberg. Not much. Just a little bit. A hair. This is going to be completely game changing though. Because it will allow you to specifically put sections of the website where your client can edit. You can do the header, you can build templates, you can do all of that, and then you can set up sections where that section is just Gutenberg. That's genius for anybody doing any kind of web development. That's so useful. Completely useful. Then he goes on to say that he's going to be adding repeater elements for visual loop building. Um, this was kind of explained, but this is just this is just more functionality that they added but if you look at the very bottom this is what's going to make the difference WooCommerce integration we have been complaining about this forever Oxygen has had WooCommerce integration just like every other page builder has had WooCommerce integration but it's never been very good integration it's been okay it's not terrible but it could be better and from what I've seen from this update, it's going to be amazing. You're literally going to be able to customize this any way you want. So if you own a store or if you're even thinking about WooCommerce, this should be, you should be ready to go out and buy Oxygen today because quite frankly, these changes are going to be massive. For anybody who's using Oxygen, they're going to be massive. They're going to be massive for web developers, for people developing websites, for people who own stores. It's going to make Oxygen a next level tool. It was already there to begin with. This is going to push it further in that way. And the thing that I really like about this, that I really give kudos for, is the fact that Lewis is actually listening to his customers. He's not doing a what some of these other page develop uh, page builders do. He's listening to the customers. They're complaining about some things over and over again, and he's hearing that and he's fixing it. That's exciting. That's exciting because the developers actually listening to their clients. That's really exciting. I mean, it it really is. I don't care what you think of Oxygen. I don't care. If you don't like it or whatever the case is, you need to be aware of this tool. It's getting to the point where it's so good that you cannot pass it up. People who come out in forums and will always say, oh yeah, you know, we, we're including Divi in this link and uh, Elementor and Beaver Builder. They're quickly getting told by other members who have used Oxygen, no, 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 you need to include Oxygen in this because it's not this baby page builder it's a serious page builder and for anybody who knows how to code it's it's a game changer you need to take and look into it if you haven't looked into oxygen before like i said i'll put the link down below there's no affiliate links with this lewis doesn't believe in that i'm just passing it on i own a license to it because i think it's really really awesome i think you should look at it too so go ahead and take a look at it because it's well worth the money that you're going to spend. It's just too good. It really is too good. And I think that this update is going to bring it to another level. Um, so if you're interested in that, like I said, I'll put it down below. I'll even link my review down below so that you can read my review with the caveat that, like I said before, this review does not include these changes. So once these changes come out, We'll have to see what happens. They may not even be as great as they're saying, but even if they're half done, it's going to be really good. These changes are something that's been needed for a while. So if you're interested in that, I think you're going to like this. I think you're going to like these changes. It's going to make a big difference, and I hope you enjoy it.